Hey, how you doing everybody? So, I know I said when we showed the Speedway trucks, I didn't have any Hesh trucks. Well, I was looking through some stuff, and I found out we actually did have a Hesh truck. And it's actually the 50th year anniversary one. I forgot we completely had it. With the Scout little thing. Now, I don't even remember if we put batteries in it ever. I know we got it. And like I said, oh, obviously I know we got it because we have it. But I completely forgot we had it and i said we didn't have any hash trucks i think this is the only one to be honest i don't think we have any other so we're gonna take it out show you what it looks like put the batteries in it a lot of people like them when we did the speedway ones so this is a little bit of a contrast this is what the speedway what speedways we're gonna replace was the hash trucks but they did keep the hess trucks coming out as you can see the gas stations in the background but obviously there's no more hess around around at least around my area i don't know if any place else but let me take out the little screwdriver because we have the little Phillips on there that needs to be taken out in order to put the batteries in. Like I said, I don't remember offhand if we ever actually put batteries in it and test it. I honestly can't remember. So we'll put this in there. Oh, before we get into that, you know that. If you guys could do that. And also subscribe because... Trying to build up the subscribers, as you can see. They're getting higher and higher, and I thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate that. So, like I said, I'm trying to build the channel, and it'd be so appreciated if you would help us do so. So, as you can see there, the instructions are there. I did read where the batteries go, so I would know what batteries we need. Because we need one for the truck and one for the little shuttle plane thing. I think that's what it's called, a space cruiser with scout so oh we got another little thing over here like i said i can't remember if we ever even taken this out of the box so dear hess toy truck fan thank you for purchasing the 2014 also this was 2014 hess toy truck and space cruiser now is the 50th year the hess truck names as Bang and thank you for the customers. We recognize the quality and play value of the Hesh trucks have been criti critical to all long success. We now we know that many families look forward to the tradition of giving the annual Hesh truck during the holiday season to celebrate. This tradition will continue with 2015 will mark the important change of Hess. Please take a moment to register your name and email with heshtrucks.com and we will continue uh, contact you so you can you can be sure to receive the Hesh Truck Toy Truck next year. We look forward to offering you and your family the Hesh Toy Truck in the future. Happy Holidays, John B. Hess. So I guess there's still people from the Hess family around. We know John is. Just a little bit tough to get out of the box here. As you can see, it's a truck with a little space shuttle on it, right there, and we do have batteries for both of them. This thing has a little plastic holder for the actual wings for the truck, for the space probe thing. So it has like little spiral type things, and then they connect, and as you can see, there's a little metal connector. And in there, so I guess, I'm, like I said, I don't remember this. So I'm guessing that lights up. The landing gear does come out. Oh, and that goes up as we see. Take a little look around the plane. Oh, 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 that is super cool. I don't think I have a battery for that. I didn't even know that was in there, to be honest. That's nuts. So I don't think I have a battery on hand for that. I didn't even know that was in there. That is really cool. Like I said, I was not aware that that was in there. So let's put the batteries in this first. Like I said, we can't put it in the little car. I don't have batteries for that in the little spaceship, I mean. Yeah, pick the right Phillips. Just by sight, good going. We can see what sounds and lights the little plane. As you can see, the batteries go right there. I'll tell you which direction the batteries go in. 
and we do have the correct triple A's for this. The other truck tastes C, which is weird. I, It's very rare these days that you see stuff that takes C batteries. They still sell them, of course, but you don't see that many things that take C batteries. Let's tighten that up a little bit. Whoa. Okay. It obviously makes a lot of cool sounds. Whoa. And we got the little space probe back there. And the Hess lights up. As the burners light up. Hopefully you can hear that and hear me over it. kind of sits up there like that and the landing gear is out as you can see still flashing <laughs> you touch it and it goes so as you can see down there the detail is pretty cool and crisp i think it's this one yeah this one releases the little launch for the little aircraft spacecraft type thing i can see the hess on the front well, let's see how this bad boy lights up Got some fresh batteries right there. Was in the good old five below. I didn't see anything to do a video on, but was in the good old five below yesterday. So picked up some of the Ray Raycon batteries, the Ener Energy Raycon. Correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't Michael Jordan used to advertise Raycon batteries? Or Railback, I mean. So let's see. Let me take this over here to see how exactly the batteries go in. I believe it's that way. We shall soon find out. If it turns on, then we're good. If it don't, then we're not. There we go. They just had the finagled a little bit into place. And you can actually open that with a flathead as well. So if you don't have a Phillips on hand. So now we have all lights. As you can see right there, you get the Hess lighting up, you get the running lights on the side, the top lights, the front headlights, the side indicators right there, the back, the Hess 2014. Everything lights up and it has the big 50 on there for the birth anniversary. Oh. So you have blinkers and the sounds and the truck. It is rubber tire, so that's really cool. Nothing really opens here per se. Horn. I do not know if you can put this up in a stage. Oh. oh, wow. So you got some cool sound effects for the plane when it goes up. As you can see, it doesn't go back down by that. But, well, it does make the sound when it goes back down. So there's a sensor in there somewhere that indicates you're putting the thing up and down, which is really cool. These are really, really cool trucks and everything. So really nice. Rolls beautifully. I did not know about the little thing there. So the minute you touch this, it has a sensor as well that goes off. So there, another look at the Hess little space jet thing. And it has that little one inside. This does not have a sensor for movement. Even got the little windshield wiper indicate a uh, little windshield wipers over there nothing really opens here but as you can see rubber tires pretty decent detail underneath i didn't even know we had this like i said i'm pretty sure i know now why we bought it that i think about it but um i have an idea of why it was purchased at the time it was purchased so <laughs> i do understand why it was but I was shocked we had it. I was looking, if you saw the video with the green light gas tanks, I was looking for those and this was in the same box. So that's how long it's been sitting there for quite a while. So, you know, I completely forgot we had that because, and like I said, with the green lights, I want to get more of those, but that is really, really cool. The sounds really amazing on that. The 50th anniversary, how could you beat it, right? 
So, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the 50th anniversary Hess truck. The Hess truck's back and, you know, the whole song and everything. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And like always, people, have a great, great day.